Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, so if you're new here, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I sell items on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I like to find items at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and flip them for a profit. So in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. One thing that I like to sell is replacements or items that I have parted out, either because they're damaged or incomplete, and then I sell these items for a profit. So we're gonna go through and talk about 32 items. Some of these items I pick up on a regular basis. I would consider them a bolo item, an item to be on the lookout for. So let's get started here. We are gonna start with one that's really cool. And if you ever see one of these, definitely pick it up because this sold fast. I do believe that's the right one here. I was starting to think, which one did I have first? All right. So this is, yep, it pulled up. All right. So this is a replacement. It's called a sugar berry, but it's basically a purple strawberry and it goes to a for real pets unicorn. So this goes for any of the for real pets. Most of them come with two or three like different little like a cookie or um, a bottle, a fruit, different things like that. And those items always get lost and parents are always on the hunt. And where do they go? They come to eBay to find those items. So this sugar berry sold really quick and I got the unicorn with it, but the unicorn is like bulky and heavy. And I just did a video showing how it worked over on my reseller testing Bolo products. I can't, yeah, they wanted me to add a video showing how the strawberry worked. So what I did is I added that video down here in the description. The unicorn was not included. It was just the strawberry here that I sold. So I've got that video for the channel. And then I sold the strawberry for $28. Uh, the buyer was all in for $34.45 plus shipping for this. Now, these items, a lot of them I've just picked up at garage sales and thrift stores and I buy them and then I tear them apart. So it's hard to give you an estimated value. But let's just say I paid a buck for this. Um, I think I got the unicorn with it and I just don't recall what I paid for the set. All right. Play School 1991 Vintage Dollhouse. I have taken two of these apart. Now, if you get one that's in excellent condition with all of the parts and everything works and functions, sell it complete. It is worth a ton of money. This is a major bolo, a super hard to find dollhouse. But if you get one that's faded, the items don't work, it's missing pieces, part it out. There is so much money to be made on this dollhouse. These are the cabinet doors from the kitchen. And I sold these for $10.08 plus shipping. The next item is this caribou game replacement tray. And over on my reseller testing Bolo products, I have a video that shows you how I have parted out this entire game. So if you want to see every piece and how I listed it, go check out that video. Definitely educational. Um, this piece right here, this tray sold for $12.24 plus shipping. I mean, I took that thing completely apart. The next item is this uh, Connect Screaming Serpent roller coaster. So another thing to mention on the Caribou set, if you get that game and it is complete, sell it as complete because they are a bolo. Now, if it's missing like the key or the balls, a lot of times they're missing things and that's why people are selling them. And then people don't buy them because they're missing things. But that there is so much money to be made by parting out a caribou set. This is another item, same situation. If it's complete in the box, sell it as complete. If not, part it out. This one takes a long time to part out. This is the second one I've parted out. Would I do it again? I'm just not sure you really have to be in the mood because there are a lot of parts and pieces and you're going to see some more that go with this set here shortly but the roller coaster by itself um this sold for 25 dollars 20 the buyer was all in for 34.23 i picked this up at a goodwill in a tote it had the instructions and it was missing the people it was missing some other things it didn't have the box and i've parted one of these out for before so i was familiar with it but i forgot how long it takes to sort all of the Connex pieces. So stay tuned. All right, Connex Scream and Serpent. These are the spacers, uh, silver and blue. Again, it's a lot of work to part these out, but you can make a lot of money. And people, I 
it, it's kind of long tail, but people do look for these items. I sold this for $11.52 and the buyer was all in for $18.45. This is a little Fisher Price Nativity Joseph Christmas replacement from a Fisher Price Little People Nativity set. So a lot of times people will pick these up and they're incomplete because they buy them pre-owned and they just need a replacement character. So this guy I got at a garage sale and I sold him for a best offer of $11. The buyer was all in for $17.20 with tax and shipping. All right. So this big hero, um, it's a replacement fist. So I can't remember if I got it in a mystery box or what, but the figure did not work. So I was like super bummed because I think I paid for it. So it probably wasn't a mystery box, but I wanted to get my money back. So I was like, I bet I can sell this hand that's a bullet. And I did. And it sold pretty quick. I sold this for $13.50 and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $19.97 for that hand. The next item is this Calico Critters door. And I sold this for $9 plus shipping. Um, I pick these Calico Critter houses up all the time. Most of them are incomplete and I just sell the doors and the windows and stuff like that. Um, the sell-through rate is, okay, I don't want to say that because I haven't really looked at the sell-through rate, but the houses, there's usually a lot that are sitting and waiting to be sold. And I do really good with the replacement parts. So that is what I do. I buy the house and then I pull the pieces off of it, sell the furniture that's in it. And that's what I do. Now, I was at the Goodwill Benz outlet and there was one of these houses. It was incomplete. I do believe it was just like a section of the house and I pulled the door off. And after I did it, I was kind of like, should I have done that? And I asked people in the video what they thought. And everybody was like, they're putting that stuff out there. And then after that round, it's going to the landfill. So I don't know if that's true or not, but that everybody has told me that at the Goodwill Bins, they want you to take whatever you can use because um, what doesn't sell is, I guess, just getting trashed, which man, oh man, a lot of that stuff is trash, though I will say. But check out my Goodwill Bins videos. I've been doing a lot of those lately. Super fun. I've been finding some really, really great stuff, but um, only one person I think got mad at me for taking the door off. And I will tell you, it wasn't right when they first put it out. That bin had been picked over by everyone and it had been left behind. I actually picked up a Calico Critters car that was missing the trunk um, and I still bought it. But I'm wondering if somebody took the trunk and was selling it as a replacement. You never know, but I'm going to sell the car without the trunk. All right. We've got this Santa. It's by Possible Dreams Clothique. And when I looked him up, I realized that he was a part of something else. And he came in a mystery box and I was like, well, should I list it? Because he's missing, I, I think it was like a globe or something. And uh, I decided to list it as a replacement and he sold for $25 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $39.32. The next item is this Octonauts Angler Fish. This is just a little teeny toy and uh, again, People have these play sets, their kids lose the toys and they turn to eBay. I ended up taking a best offer of seven on this plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $12.52. This PJ Masks Turbo Movers Gecko Replacement Shield. This was another scenario where I believe the item was broken or didn't work. Can't remember the details, but I was like, I wonder if I can sell the shield. So I pulled it off of the toy. I listed it and it sold pretty quickly. I sold it for $6 plus shipping. Is this a major bread and butter? Yes, but you know what? Somebody is so happy that they have this item and I'm glad I listed it. The next item are more of the Connect Scream and Serpent spacers. I sold these for $10.12 plus shipping. And you saw these earlier. So these were from two separate sets. These are going to be long tail more than likely. So expect to sit on them and wait a long time for them to sell. These coins came out of a mystery box and they actually sold pretty quickly. They are for the Fisher Price cash register. Um, there are different sizes. So make sure you do this so that people, they got returned because they weren't the right size, which was not a good situation. <laughs> so you never want to get returns. So sold this for $12 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $18.04. This is a Little Playmates 1984 Space Station Satellite Dish. Um, so this is a part 
to a playset. I sold this for a best offer of $15.50 and the buyer was all in for $21.35. I had the entire playset. It was incomplete. I had some of the vehicles and the figures, so I just parted it out. The next item is this Tyco Sesame Street 1996 replacement truck and Big Bird for Elmo's Train Railroad. So how you look these items up is Google Lens. So you use Google Lens to figure out which place that it goes with. And then you put that in your title and use the word replacement so that people know that it is a replacement item. People will search that way. This sold for $15 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $22.23. These Fisher Price Loving Family Replacement Pillows. So these go to like a couch or a bed or something like that for a dollhouse. Sold these for $7. The buyer was all in for $12.07. And again, pick this up in a bulk lot um, of Fisher Price Loving Family items. This was a Ninja Turtle playset that I picked up. I assembled it. And after I used YouTube to assemble this thing, it was missing parts and pieces. So I took it apart and I pieced it out and it's a lot of work, but um, is it worth it? I don't know. So I, I've done really well with it, but it's a lot of work. So I kind of was just challenging myself. I think I've done this with two of these. So it seems like once I do it the first time, I'm more willing to do it the second time because I have, <coughs> sorry. Oh my goodness. I know what to expect. I know that I'm going to make money. So this one sold for $12.14 and the buyer was all in for $18.94. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. All right. Give me a minute here. All right. This is a Fisher Price <coughs> replacement wagon. Um, I got this out of a mystery box from Auctions for You. I will link her down below. Um, I buy toy boxes from her and I have bought like a Halloween box, but basically she sells inventory to resellers. And um, I sold this one piece for $7.50. The buyer was all in for $13.41. The next item is this Transformers Rescue Bots uh, Firehouse Replacement Vehicle Launcher. Again, this goes with a playset, And I picked this up in a big lot of toys that had vehicles and all of that stuff. And I sold this for a best offer of $7 and the buyer was all in for $13.39. All right, here's more of the connects. So you're going to see what I mean. There's 150 here. So I had to count those out. I do um, show right here the exact measurement. And here's the next one. There's 82 of these. And the person bought bo both sets. So between the two combined, they were all in for $27.19. It was $22.94 plus tax and shipping. I do um, $5 shipping when the items are first class if they bundle in their cart. So I did take a little hit on shipping for that one. The next item I picked up at the Goodwill Bins outlet and it sold really fast. Um, it's a Spin Master Paw Patrol Adventure Bay Railway replacement motorized engine. And... Goodwill Benz is by weight. It's $1.79 a pound. So I probably had less than $2 in this. I sold it for $18. The buyer was all in for $25.90. The next item is this Avon Santa Read Me a Story replacement parts only. Books and the bag. Um, I had no idea what this was. Uh, how I figured it out was there was an instruction manual included. And I was able to look it up. And I was shocked at what these replacements go for. So it's for an animated Avon Santa, and these pieces make the item function. So people that lose those are on the lookout for them. This sold on auction for $24.99 plus shipping, and I got those out of a thrift store mystery box. Here's some more of those Connects pieces. So again, you can see I separated and bagged all of them. This is what they look like individually. Um, a lot of times when you get these sets, they're already stuck together, so you have to pull them apart. It is a big pain. I sold these for $16.28 plus shipping. The next item are these Lego Pirates. These minifigures, if you guys can look them up and figure out which set they go to, that is definitely beneficial. I did not know what set these went to, but I knew that they were pirates, so I just put that in my title. These sold for a best offer of $11. The buyer was all in for $17, and I got those at a garage sale for $0.50. Cents. This came from the Goodwill Bins outlet as well. 
it was just laying in the bin. And I've got footage of that over on my uh, one of my bins videos. And if you guys have not seen my Goodwill bins videos, definitely check them out. I keep them educational. I pop up screenshots of how I listed everything. If something is already sold by the time I post the video, I share that with you as well. So you'll definitely learn from those and you get to see me dig. So really fun. Sold this for $9.99 on a seven day auction and the buyer paid shipping. They were all in for $15.89. The next item is the caribou key. This key gets lost all the time and people are looking for it. So if you find the key, $12 is what I sold this for. The buyer was all in for $17.60. The next item is another piece of that play school dollhouse that I was telling you about from 1991. Look how faded this is. It is supposed to be that color of blue. It is a mess. And this is the other side here. And it had wallpaper on it. And this is part of the reason I parted it out is because it was damaged and incomplete. Somebody still bought it. They're probably going to soak that, try to get some of that glue off and maybe put some new wallpaper on it. I don't know. But I sold this for $10.95. And let's see. Buyer was all in for $19.31. The next item is this Magic Tracks Dino Chomp replacement car. Um, this comes with those, oh, I forget what they're called, magic tracks. Yeah, it's in the title, magic tracks. And this is just a replacement car. I got this at the bins. I almost didn't pick it up. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to see. And it sold super fast for $5.84. Buyer was all in for $11.92. The next item here is a piece of the floor from the 1991 dollhouse. And again, you can see how faded it is. It does not matter. People will still buy it. A lot of times people have these and their dollhouse is faded anyway, so they really don't care because it's going to match anyway. This sold for $15. The buyer was all in for $32.64 with shipping. So shipping was a little high on that because it's a bigger piece there. The next item are these Cabbage Patch Kids replacement shoes. I picked up a lot of uh, Cabbage Patch items at an estate sale and these three shoes did not have a match. So I went ahead and just lauded them as replacements. They sold for fifth. I'm sorry, best offer of $10. Buyer was all in for $16.83. All right, you guys. So a lot of, a lot of these items, most of you would just be like, nope, not doing it, not taking the time. I like selling stuff like this. I think it's super fun. Um, I get excited when they sell. I've gotten messages from people that are looking for those items that say, thank you for listing this because they're hard to find because not a lot of people take the time to part things out. So is there money to be made in parted out replacement items? Most definitely. So um, if you get in the mood to part something out, you can make some money. A lot of the items are long tail. I'm not going to pretend like they sell fast. A lot of them take a while to sell, but some of them people have alerts on and they're waiting for that item and it sells like that. So thank you for being here. If you learned something, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, leave me a hat emoji. Thank you so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up and there's also information linked down in the description if you want to check that out. Thanks for watching.